Hello my fabulous sprinkles, it's Venomous Cupcake here with another Creative Art Box unboxing and review. Um, if you want your own box, I'm just going to get this out of the way. If you want your own box, there are links in the description, uh, all kinds of things in the description. It is a magical place, just you know, read that description. Um, basically, I just got this art box today. They always show up really fast, so um, look forward to that when you get it. Um, I'm pretty confident that they didn't do this. It was the male people. Um, I, I really don't know what they're doing. I think they just see this this box and they want to beat it up. Uh, let's just hope that whatever is in here is not damaged in any way. So yeah, I'm just going to get to that. I have already cut this piece of tape, but don't worry, I didn't look inside. Um, I'm really bad at opening things, so I just went ahead and did that. This box is also a lot bigger than the boxes I usually get, so I'm a little nervous. I'm wondering what's in here, and I'm still kind of uh, scared that it is damaged, so let's see. Oh, and if I sound uh, weird, my my voice is really weird. I've been sick for a couple of weeks now. Um, okay, anyway. Um, oh, apparently I got the super awesome box. That is super awesome. <laughs> Wow, I'm ready. Anyway, uh, this is the October art box, and it looks like acrylic paint is the medium for October, which is really interesting because I'm kind of new to it. So this should be a pretty interesting thing for me. Um, this card has loads of information about the stuff they've given you. Um, if you do get one, I do advise that you read it. Sometimes I don't read it, and... Um, yeah, I missed some important information, so I'm going to read this after I'm done filming this, so yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure you're all more interested in me just like taking this stuff out than reading what's on the card anyway. Um, this is Brush Cleaner. Um, the mask, which is, this is interesting. I've never used it on um, any brushes before. I hear these are really good for watercolor too, so this is really cool. I can't wait to use this because, oh, one pet peeve of mine is like dirty brushes. Like I freak out so much. And they paint, paint a brush. It looks like it's a round, so that's pretty cool. I really love rounds with acrylic, so, oh, and it's kind of soft. A lot of times you'll see with acrylic brushes, they're really hard, but I cannot stand that like, rough bristle i can't stand it if you know me it just it bothers me so much um okay you're gonna hear a lot of ums i'm sorry <laughs> um phthalo blue oh, this is the paint by the way um i got phthalo blue yellow ochre white uh lemon yellow crimson um Phthalo green, I think that's how you pronounce it, and these are all uh, Reeves brand acrylic paint, and I've never used Reeves brand acrylic paint, so this is going to be fun. Oh, oh my gosh, I love these. <laughs> I got a gold gecko color acrylic paint, and it's gold. Um, you guys know me, and you know how much I love like the shiny inks, right? <laughs> yeah. So, this is going to be fun, and I got a color mixing kit, which um, I'm going to go ahead and open it. This is, this is pretty cool actually. And, okay, okay, I feel this. Boy, I wish I had this when I first started painting. And it just kind of folds, not folds, like you could just pull it out and see all the potential colors. And um, this is really uh, good because a lot of people think they need all these special pre-made colors. And you really don't. Um, with the most basic set, you can make your own um, colors as you want. So it does save money to really understand how to mix colors. And crackle 
that. What's this too? Is there crafting room in here? I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look. Oh, cool. I I have never used the crackle medium, but everybody that I've talked to that does a lot of acrylic loves to use it. Oh my gosh, so I'm really going to be trying some new things in this box. Um, they decided to challenge me, that's what happened. Okay, um, sometimes I go silent when I'm reading, sorry. And then here is a little tiny um, canvas panel. Um, which is really good because I think I'm out of um, the flat canvas panels. So I'm really going to try and make use of just this one. I'm going to attempt to use everything that's in the box um, solely because, you know, I like a challenge and uh, I'm kind of in an art block and challenges are great for that. So, yeah. Um, okay, that's all we got. Um, so here's the paint, the really cool crackle medium, um, my new baby. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the palette that comes with it as always and um, the brush cleaner the panel and the little uh, thingies that come with it and a brush and this magnificent card that I will read that I will read after this I promise anyway uh, let's see what I make with this and I hope you guys enjoy it Again, everything is in the description. If you want your own box, uh, just click the links and check it out. So um, I will see you guys in the speed paint part of this. All right, so going into the painting, I had this concept for a spider woman at first, but really that kind of went downhill as I then decided to go with a ghost woman. I'm not entirely sure why a ghost girl triumphed over a spider lady in this case, but I will say that it's probably because I wanted to use a whole lot of white. Uh, the canvas panel was so small that I decided to go with a face so I could put a lot of detail into this piece in order to get the most out of this wonderful acrylic medium. Oh yes, and when I use acrylic, I tend to approach it like watercolor. I usually start with a very watered down coat and go on from there. I have seen people use thick coats of paint and that's great. But I think it's more of a little habit of mine when it comes to me and painting that I just start off that way. Um, as everyone knows, I'm primarily a watercolor painter, but as always, it's great to try new mediums. I think my biggest issue was trying to find a place where I could use the crackle medium, so I decided to use it in the background. I'm sure you all noticed that I'm using a black paint as well. It came out of my own little stash of cheap apple barrel paints. I had used so much white in this piece that I felt it would really add some sort of um, mysterious and ominous mood to the little painting and I'm honestly glad I made that decision because it made the glowing effect really nice. With that being said, it did overshadow the crackle medium's great job at making the, um, the crackle effect, so I made a small swatch and I will be showing it in the video so everyone can see the fabulous job of the crackle medium. Now, on to reviewing the supplies. Firstly, the Reeves paint is really great. I really didn't think that the Reeves acrylic would do much good. Um, I thought it would be uh, okay, and I really thought that I would have to constantly layer just to get a smooth coating over certain shapes, but that was exactly the opposite. It's thick and it really blends well with whatever technique you want to use. So if you're not used to acrylic, it really does make things easier on you. As always, the brush held strong and I'm going to put it in the acrylic brush stash and use it for my future acrylic paintings. The brush cleaner I recently used on my watercolor brushes and it did really well for them. I'd never really used brush cleaner before and I think it's really worth it, meaning I'm probably going to buy more in the future. The canvas panel was very textured and held the texture no matter how many layers I put on it. Uh, usually I get a good two or three layers with some of the other brands if I'm not careful with how much I use, but this panel was pretty dang great, had a lot of leeway for me, and you know, I could say that I could probably put color pencil over it and still see the texture. And last, but certainly not least, the crackle medium. 
it is a challenge to get a hang of, but with some practice, it really did a wonderful job. Anywho, I hope you all enjoyed this video and this drawing, or uh, this painting. If you want your very own creative art box, check out the links down below. Have a wonderful day, night, whatever. Bye!